Praise God for this glorious day. This is Zach Mitch, your host of What Jesus Says. We want to welcome you back and being so faithful and joining us every Friday evening at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to learn more about what Jesus has to say on controversial issues facing us today. This is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoiced to be glad in it. And we're glad to have you back. Look, this is a great opportunity for you to in, invest in your spiritual life and that's what it's all about you came in this world naked and you'll leave naked you came in this world weak you'll leave weak so let's keep our focus on what's most important give and give uh, without reservations but sacrificially let's go to the lord in prayer lord god we thank you jesus for this opportunity to bring your word to your people we thank you for your love for us so much that you died and gave you only son your life his life for us gave his life for us we pray for those that are less fortunate jesus pray for those in the hospital nursing homes hospices homeless shelters those incarcerated unemployed even those that are on death row that you give them peace we pray for your apostles prophets evangelists preachers teachers local and universal we pray for your churches local and universal lord jesus we pray for the president and vice president that you give them favor and wisdom to govern this country we pray for leaders all over the world father we pray for our enemies that they cease from troubling. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem that we prosper, that love the holy city. Peace will our gates, prosperity in our palaces. We pray for the salvation of Israel that they come to know you as their God, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray for our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, and all our men and women in uniform that stand watch over our safety. Now we turn our broadcast over to you, Jesus, in the most magnificent name that we know. In your name, in Jesus' name, we pray, amen. So if you want to participate in tonight's conversation, all you have to do is dial 919-747-3572, and that's 919-747-3572. And this is Zach Mitchum, your host of What Jesus Says, amen. We'll be on the way shortly. Hey, 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 who do we have on the line today? Hello. Hey, Hello? hey, welcome back. Hey. Who's who's on the line today? Hello. Okay, who else do we have on the line today? Hey, you back. How about that? You 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 yeah. you, you, you <laughs> I guess they got tired of listening to me. That's amazing. Now that you know that ain't right. No, that's not right. I guess they just want to hear from you. I guess so. Well, this is a new year. You got any words of wisdom for the people? The word of wisdom for the people. Is to keep the faith. Okay, that's all you need, though, isn't it? That's all you need, to Listen, keep the we're faith. we're talking about Jesus' exchange system. Do you know what Jesus' exchange system is? Jesus' exchange system? Yeah, you know what exchange yeah. means, right? Exchange is. He gives you give. something, you give him something, he'll give you something. That's exchange, right? Yeah. Okay. He give you something, and he give you something. Okay, and so if, if, you, if, if, if you give your mama a smart mouth and she gives you a whoop, then that's an exchange system, right? <laughs> See, I, I, you laughing because you know you're wrong. But I'm going to get you back when I come down there. 
Understand that. Um, Whatever. Um, you give your mama a fresh mouth and you get a butt whooping. How about that? How about that? That's that, that, that's a, that's a, that, <clears throat> that is an exchange. <laughs> so how you feel doing that to me, though? I mean, as good as I've been to you, and you just tormenting me, man. Well, about, how do I feel? <laughs> So you said I deserved it? Keep the pain. <laughs> what did I keep the pain? <laughs> All right, let's keep the thing. I guess she said, go on, move on, move on. <laughs> Look, we're talking about Isaiah tonight. Isaiah 61, we're talking about an exchange system. Keep that in mind when it's time for the summary. I don't want no excuses. We're talking about how Jesus takes what you give and he gives you something else, right? Watch this. He gave an exchange system on the cross. He, the Lord loved the Lord, loved us so much that he gave his life for us. Amen. In exchange for salvation. Isn't that amazing? Yes. I feel like preaching tonight, though. This is an exchange system we're talking about. This is powerful. Mark 941, Isaiah 61, and King 17 7. Let's talk about this thing right quick. Look, this is what the Lord tells us about an exchange system, right? We're going to start with Mark 91. He said, Look, now this is what, uh, not so much uh, the exchange that the Lord, He set the tone for it, but His prophets too. Listen to what He says in Mark 9 41. For whosoever, did you hear what He said? Yes. Who yes. is he talking about? Whosoever, anybody. Whosoever. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water. Oh, my God. A cup of water. Something as simple as that. Water's free, in it? Yeah. Yeah. He said, for whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name. My God. That's a powerful name. Because you belong yeah. to me, belong to Christ. This y'all need to be shouting. He said, "Look for whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my, my name, God. Amen. Because ye belong to Christ. Verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward." Nine, one. You know what nine. a prof, you know what a prophet's reward is. Uh, that's heavy. That's a lot. Is that something. You will know why I lose a prophet's reward. If you give somebody a cup of water in the name of Jesus, you'll know why I lose the prophet's reward, he said. If you give someone a cup of water in the name of Jesus, you will know why I lose a prophet. Is everybody on the mm. line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking to you. Okay. I got to get a feedback. So I know you, at least you're still there. And you got a <laughs> pulse, right? Okay. So look, now if we know he'll do that for us, how much more he'll give if you're faithful? Now, I'm not just going to give a, a, a plug for that book, but I'm telling you, uh, we always said you can't beat God's giving. We're talking about an exchange system tonight. If you want to participate in tonight's conversation, dial 919-747-3572. Did everybody get that? If you want to participate now, you can be all over the world. and Call that number. You can dial in tonight and get us, and we're going to talk about the exchange system that Jesus Christ has for us. So, you give him something, he gives something back. And that's power. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Isaiah, the crux of the matter. Isaiah 61. Now this is the thing Ooh. that, this is my, my favorite uh, scripture because it talks about his exchange, right? right? The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So if you've got a broken heart, he's what? He's stitching that thing up, isn't he? So you right. got a broken heart, he's binding it to proclaim liberty to the captive. So if you got shackles, 
he breaking those shackles and giving you freedom. We preaching tonight and the yeah. opening of the prison to them that are bound. So if you locked up, them gates are wide open to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. You lost a loved one, you're mourning, he's comforting you. Blessed are those that uh, mourn, for they shall be comforted, right? To appoint right. to them that mourn in Zion, to give them to them beauty for ashes. You give me ashes, I'll give you beauty. We're talking exchange system, isn't that powerful? The oil of joy, he gives you joy for mourning, right? What you sow in tears, you'll weep and reap in joy. The garment of praise, he'll give you praise for the spirit of heaviness. If you down and distrust, distraught, he'll give you a praise on. You got to hear what he's saying. And that they, that they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. See, God don't get no glory in folk calling you a sinner. And oh, by the way, some people call themselves a sinner. Why do you think that's the case? Why do you think people call themselves a sinner? When Jesus did all that to take away the sins of the world and you still want to hold on to some stupid sin. Is that crazy or what? Crazy. Why, why would people go around calling themselves a sinner? Now, God done done all of that. He came all the way down here. He, he was in glory, just relaxing, maxing. And he said, oh, my goodness. Look at what my children are going crazy. Some of them down there naked going around praising a, a cow and a, I, I got to go down on myself. He came down and, and left glory and, <laughs> and put all of that on hold to take care of the things that we did, just like a good father would do. If you got a child that broke a window, who's responsible for that window to be repaid? The parent. The parent. But the, the child going to get beat down. You know that. Especially if you got a mama named Annie May. He's going to get beat for breaking that window, isn't he? <laughs> but they're going to end up fixing it. Aren't they going to fix the window? Yeah. You yeah. think they're going to let the child take the responsibility, the full responsibility for the window? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just the way the father is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's that the makes way me want to listen to uh Troy Bright. I'm, I'm going to listen to Troy Bright, and we're going to come right back. How Welcome, Mr. That? Troy Bright. Okay. Okay.
Troy Bright, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, just wow. That's my favorite song because it exemplifies what the exchange system is. Even when you don't live right, he's blessing you anyway. Did you hear that exchange in that song? Yes. That's powerful. Look, if you want to know that kind of love that the Lord expresses for his people, all you have to do is Romans 10, 9. He said, confess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, believe in your heart, God, raise him from the dead. Then you say, because with the mouth, confession is made to salvation, and with the heart, belief is made unto righteousness. And we believe that. And we also believe, I told you, you will see power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you in Acts 1, 8. And that kind of power is all available to you when you ask. He says in 11, Luke eleven thirteen. You, being evil, know how to give your children good gifts. How much more will your Heavenly Father give you the Holy Ghost if you ask? Give you his Holy Spirit, the power that works within you. Huh? The power that works within you, just like he said in Ephesians 3.20. According to the power that's working within you, all you have to do is ask him, and he'll give you that power to raise the dead, heal the sick. Because if you believe... He and the things that he did, you'll do also in greater work. That's what he told you in John fourteen. 12. I don't know why you don't believe it, right? All you have to do is trust him at his word. He said he never turned his back on it. Did you hear what that man was saying? He said, God, how does he love me so? Huh? I feel like preaching. He said, Look, he never turned his back on me, right? You got friends. We talked last week in the other broadcast about who should give a plug to give him the mic. He said, Look. You got friends on earth. Well, actually, you got friend of me, right? He said, it's better to put your trust in God than your confidence in man. It's better yeah. to trust God than put your confidence in man, right? Because I asked the Lord, Lord, get rid of all these enemies. Man, every time you turn around, all I got is enemy. I turned around, and ain't have no friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not one friend. All I had was Jesus. I think my mama's still my friend, but I don't know because she tried to bust my eye out. I don't know. I mean, I'll still your friend. Yeah, I'll still your friend. <laughs> what, the, what the words say, oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. What the song say, oh, what a friend we have in oh, Jesus. Oh, All our sins and griefs to bear. All because we do not carry. Yeah, I carry. Everything, Everything is My God, I feel like pre- I don't even know what's going on tonight. This exchange just to this love, beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for morning, God of praise for the spirit of heaven. That's some serious exchange now. I mean, think about it. He won't even allow us to suffer the indignities of the things we do to ourselves. Huh? He, uh, he gives us crop yeah. failures when you say stupid stuff in your mouth talking about this make me sick. 
just imagine if you, he would have honored what you said in your mouth because you said death and life is in the power of your tongue, right? And he said, by your words, you're justified. By your words, you're condemned. And you condemn because you call sickness on yourself because you're trying to be like the world, right? And he gives you a crop mm-hmm. failure. And the devil's trying to take advantage of that. He said, he didn't mean that. Get on out of here. Huh? You better hear what I'm saying. You don't say, they make me sick. Why would you say that? Huh? He saves us from our own vices, doesn't he? Right. Huh? What kind of God is that? Yeah. I mean, he's standing watch over us every day. Not just us, a bird. He says a sparrow, a bird that a falls, spa- a blade of grass. Huh? That's amazing, isn't it? So we're going to yeah. wrap up with uh, uh, First Kings 17.7. Now, we were talking about this prophet, right? Get this prophet's reward. And I'm confident that's why my mother's still here and being blessed today. All them prophets and preachers she used to bring over that feeding them. Did you know anything about that exchange system then? Taking care of Reverend Saxon and Professor Black. Did you know about God's exchange system? Giving a problem. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She will fix some coffee and salmon croquettes. He says, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. <laughs> and he'll bless it, her house. Uh, you remember yeah. that? You remember that? Yes, I remember that. And he, and, he, and he he didn't she didn't just take out anything to give him coffee in too. She gave her best uh stuff she had in her little case and fixed him coffee. And Professor Black said, Thank you, madam. Well, yeah. I, I remember that when I was a little boy, huh? Amen. You think that's why you still here but all them blessings you gave them do? Yeah, that's and why taking I'm care saying. of Rapper Saxon and all of Miss Saxon, and and Even he bless you with long prophet. life and he show his salvation. What he said? Yeah, yeah, that's what and it not is. Long life, healthy. You you in good health. I think you can still yeah, run. Man. Y'all to try to run around the church one time. You gonna try that <laughs> Sunday to run around the church? Don't fall, but try to run around the church at least one time. Right. You don't think you can pull that off? <laughs> yeah. I think you that would be kind of funny house. to see Mother run around that church one time. People will fall out, wouldn't it? That'll go viral. <laughs> we'll put it on the internet. 98 year old mother runs around the church and makes everybody <laughs> freak out. <laughs> oh, now, God. watch this. This is what he did, Isaiah. I mean, Elijah, don't you go around there running around the church. You'd be done messed up. But see, that's a crop failure, too. If the Holy Ghost stay run, you better run. You understand? Amen. Okay, First First Kings 17, chapter 7, verse. This is what the Lord said. Look, and it came to pass after a while that the brook set the context. Elijah was running away from a, a, a evil queen, Jezebel. And he was he he was he was so distraught. The Lord said, Look, I got you. And he put him to a brook. And the ravens brought meat for him to eat. And uh, he had water to drink from the brook. And it came to pass, he says, in the 7th verse of 17th chapter, after a while, the brook, that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, thou belongest to Zion, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Now, obviously, he had told the widow woman something, right? So he arose and he went to Zarephath. And when he had come to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called for her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. That's that water again. Huh? You say if you give a prophet a cup of water in my name, you'll know why I lose your reward. Isn't that what he said? Give me a little water in a vessel that I might drink. And she was going to fetch it. He said, he called her (laughs) and said, bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, as the Lord liveth, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil and a curse. 
and behold, I'm gathering two sticks that I might may go and dress, go in and dress it for me and my son, that we might eat it and die. My God. Now you're talking about death and life is in the power of your tongue. That's the the most impressive example I can see. She said, I am going to die. <laughs> As soon as I eat this, I ain't, if you think I'm going to take the last little bit I have and give it to you? We're talking about exchange now. We're talking about sacrificial giving, huh? They ought to buy that book, right, wow. to understand what sacrificial giving is. Now, this woman going to give her very last, huh, to a prophet. She said, as long as the Lord liveth, all I ain't got no cake now. All I got is a little meal, just a little meal. I'm going to dress these two sticks up. And me and my son are going to eat this thing, and we're going to die. And that's all. So that's exactly right. what in her mind that the Lord has in store for her. But little did she know, Elijah was a prophet. You better hear what I'm saying. And if you give a prophet a cup of water in the name of the Lord, what do he say? You get a prophet's reward. Ain't that something? You better hear. You don't know who Elijah was. Elijah didn't even see death, but he was taken up in a whirlwind. That's amazing reward, isn't it? Right. Yeah. And, and Elijah said unto her, fear not. See, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind, right? So who gave her that fear? And see, you got to cast out that doubt and fear. That's why he said, fear not. Go and do thy, as I, go, fear not, go and do as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me. And after, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the curse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her house did eat many days. <laughs> did right. you understand? Really many days. And the barrel many of meal wasted not, neither did the curse of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. Now look, it didn't say nothing about they went to Kroger and refilled it. He didn't say nothing about them going to uh, Costco and getting some more oil. He didn't say nothing about paying for nothing, did it? But he said no. her, the prophet, and her house, whoever was in the house, he said it was a son, but that doesn't, he could have had a cousin up in there too. I don't know. He said her, yeah. prophet, and her son, and her house, they did eat how many days? Yeah. Always. Many days. <laughs> Many days. Now, so, so what comes to you in the prophet's name? And you say, Lord, is this the one? This what was said is, Lord, Lord, live. I ain't give you, look, my last. You ever hear people talking, I ain't going to give you my last now. All right, somebody sum up. It's been 30 minutes. Right. Isn't, isn't that quick how that 30 minutes goes around? Why well, preacher got to preach so long? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did all that in 30 minutes, didn't we? Yes. And we talked about what? Give me a give me a summary, a good summary. What we got? You want me to do it now? Uh-huh. We talked about the change system. He Come gave his now. life and changed it for our salvation. Mm. And then we went into understanding just what's going to be his change to us for giving a prophet just a glass of water. My Jesus. That he would die. He would get a prophet's reward, and we will eat for many days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that sums it up for the day. Now look at that. See, you, I think, you know, some. <laughs> I did that for me. That ain't right. My own audience.
Thank you, Jesus. Now, what kind of, I tell you, so somebody need to pray for her. Let the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the senior sister pray for her. Come on. Go ahead and pray, Mom. Dear Lord, we come to thee to help us with our sin. Help us to bear our burden and to live for you forever in Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Yeah, it's not for all. Master T. Yeah, yeah. Oh, T. T. Say, uh -huh. oh, I would not live, live a liar. I tell you the reason why I'm afraid my love might come. Teach me, come on, master. Teach me, master. Uh -huh. Teach me. You know that sound good right now. Listen. Teach me, uh -huh. teach me. Oh, teach. Jesus says, we're looking forward to having you next week on another edition of What Jesus Says. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.